Hi boys and girls, it's me, Elias teacher, and today we're going to read a new book. Are you guys ready? All right. This book is called The Moth. Dun 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 dun. Doesn't he look so scary? Oh, jingle. Look at how big he is. Wow. And look at those eyes. This moth. This moth could eat a whole entire village if it were real. It could pick up babies and just eat them up. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Anyway, let's learn about the moth. So that way we can not be afraid of the moth, but be able to be friends with the moth. Okay? So, this, the moth, the book, is written by May Nelson. Are you guys ready? All right, let's get started. So here, see, this is a much friendlier looking moth. And look at him, so pretty. What colors do you see in this moth? You can see some purple a little bit, but mostly you can see gray, right? A lot of gray, huesek. So there's huesek, and then there's some white, hyansek. There's some red, baigansek, and some purple, which I talked about first, which is borasek. So you can see all these different kinds of color in this moth, all right? The moth. Let's go on and learn more about our new friend, the moth. So here, you can see a moth just sitting on a tree limb. This is like a, like a tree limb or a twig that's part of a tree. And the moth is just sitting there. So let's learn about the different parts of the moth, okay? First, you have the wing. This is how the moth flies, right? Here it is right here. See it? Wing. The wing, okay? How many wings does a moth have? Two, right? One, two. Just like a bird has two wings, the moth also has two wings. What else does a moth have? A moth has feelers, which are kind of like antennas on the top of your head. Does a bird have feelers? No, only the moth and some other insects, but this moth has feelers. What else does a moth have? A moth has two eyes, two eyes, right? Does a bird have an eye or two eyes? Yes, a bird does have eyes. And a moth has legs, just like a bird. A bird also has legs. We also have legs. So a moth has legs. And guess what? This is a moth. All right, everybody repeat with me. This is a moth. All right, great. Let's go on to the next page. So here you can see this moth. And what do you think this is right here? Is that some kind of food that the moth is going to eat? No, no, no. Those are little eggs. And if you want to, you can try and count how many eggs you can see. All right? We are not going to count them today. But I just wanted to tell you that those are eggs. So this is probably a mommy moth. All right? The moth laid some eggs. Everybody repeat with me. The moth laid some eggs. And now, look at this picture. Here are the eggs that the moth laid. How many eggs can you see in this picture? One, two, three, four, five. Five eggs. And can you see what this thing is? Oh, Ooh, it looks so gross. What is this? This is a baby caterpillar just born from the egg. A caterpillar came out of an egg. Everyone repeat with me. A caterpillar came out of an egg. Wow, look at it. <laughs> All right, let's see what's on the next page. Mm, this is the same caterpillar, but now it has grown up and can you see what it's doing? It's 
trying to eat. It's going to eat some leaves or something. It's walking along this little branch. Let's learn a little bit more about what a caterpillar is. First, a caterpillar has a mouth, right? It has a mouth and it eats with that mouth. Then it has a foot, just like we have feet. And with the foot or with its feet, it walks along this little branch. And then a caterpillar has some prickly spines. Kashiga. Kashiga manta. Right? It has a lot of spines. Why do you think a caterpillar has spines? To protect itself, to guard itself from other bigger prey like birds. A bird might want to eat a delicious caterpillar, but the spines keep it safe. All right. The caterpillar changed color. Everyone read with me. The caterpillar changed color. It ate and ate. Everyone repeat. It ate and ate. It grew and grew. It grew and grew. Wow. This is amazing. Now, look at this. What is all of this stuff around here? Is the caterpillar trapped in a spider web? No, I don't think so. I think this came from the caterpillar. So it's starting to spin this really stringy stuff and it kind of looks like a web. I wonder what it is. One day, the caterpillar stopped eating. Everyone repeat with me. One day, the caterpillar stopped eating. It spun a cocoon. It spun a cocoon. Wow, look at that. It's spinning a cocoon. So here it is, the caterpillar inside of its cocoon. It's kind of like a little bed, right? It's kind of like a little bed that the caterpillar is going to live in, right? So it's not eating anymore. It's just taking a little nap, like nachan, taking a little nap inside of its cocoon. It changed inside the cocoon. Everyone repeat with me. It changed inside the cocoon. Right. So, 여기에서 바꿨어요. It changed inside the cocoon. And now, you can see that the caterpillar has become a beautiful moth. Wow, look at it. And it has all the different colors and all the different parts of the moth that we saw at the very beginning of the book. It has two wings, some feelers, some eyes, and some legs. Wow, very, very interesting. It changed into a moth. Everyone repeat with me. It changed into a moth. Wow, that's amazing. The moth life cycle. So here we are at the last page, boys and girls. Let's wrap up this book by talking about how a moth lays eggs and becomes a caterpillar, which then becomes a moth again. All right, here we go. Number one, eggs. So you have the eggs, those are first. And then second, number two, we have a caterpillar. So from the eggs comes the caterpillar. And then we have a cocoon. So the eggs are laid, then a caterpillar, and then a cocoon, which is like a little bed. And last, we have a moth. That's it. All right. So first you have the eggs, then you have a caterpillar, then you have the cocoon, and last you have the moth. All right. And that's the life cycle of a moth. All right. So thank you, boys and girls, for reading this book with me, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.